Yeah, yeah. That's. <laughs> oh, hey, I, I'll walk. I'll do one of these. <laughs> um, I'll sell them. I'll sell the shirts. Yeah. Okay. So what's the meaning of yeah. this picture? Um, so the deadly shirt that I'm wearing today, this is our Protect Gomorrah shirts, Protect Pilliga. So the picture that's on these shirts, this is a, a painting that was done by, well, my uncle, my grandfather, Uncle Victor Wright, and Annie Polly's dad. So he was an artist. And um, this was from, you know, obviously being a young boy growing up in Moree and around the Pilliga. This mm. was from something he experienced. Yeah. Um, this is a hairy man, this is Yowie. So obviously in our culture, um, a lot of people understand a lot of the stories and, and voodoos around the hairy man, but he's obviously very important to us. They're like protectors of the forest, protectors of country. And we wanted to, you know, um, support our family and obviously show off his, his, deadly, his deadly painting. Um, so, yeah, it's the Yowie, the Yowie Yeni, and um, he's the protector of the Pilliga. The Pilliga Forest, that's his home. So we kind of have a, we have to protect him and we have to protect the animals, we have to protect the trees, we have to protect the water. That's why we say, you know, Gamil means no and um, water is life um, because all of this is one. Um, and yeah, you know, we kind of are guided by him, his strongness, he's big and powerful and Gumaroy, we like to think we're pretty strong and, and powerful too. So it's a sentiment to him and the power of um, the Yawi. Yeah, what's the difference between Gomori and Pilga? Pilga is about a place. So Pilga is a place. Yeah, Gomori yep. is a... is our, our, our clan, our tribe. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So the Pilga connects to all the Gamilaray, yeah. um, the Gamilaroi and the Gomoroi. So we're all big one. We're all big one nation. Um, yeah. We're all big one clan, but we obviously have little, little bits, little families in all different areas and clan groups. So the Pilliga Forest connects to, to all these different towns and all these different um, clans, small groups, um, including our family and including many other families. I'm from Moree, but the Pilliga affects, you know, Coonabarabin, Narrabri, Pilliga, um, eventually Coonabarabin, all these towns connect to the Pilliga mm -hmm. and they'll be affected um, if Santos get their way with it. And then obviously on the back of the T-shirt. Yeah. yeah, Yana is Santos. What does Yana mean? So Yana, yeah. <laughs> that's um, in our language, that basically, basically means go, go away, yeah. get out of here. Yeah, yeah. So we're saying go Santos. Get out of here, you're not welcome, Santos. And Santos obviously is the enemy um, that we're fighting and, and we're telling them to, to go, get out of our country. So Santos is a big gas company? Santos is the big American gas company um, that have been approved to, to come in and do, you know, over 800 drillings and wells, gas wells into, into the Pilliga State Forest. Um, and once the water is tarnished, that's it. They want to put these big drills in, and start taking water from the Great Artesian Basin and the Great Artesian Basin is a, it's an underground filtering water system and it goes all the way from the top end down to South Australia and it's, it's, it's there for everyone but you can't really, you know, you can't sell it off. It's, it's kind of here to protect Australia and protect this country and keep us surviving and keep our water. We don't have a lot of land left. You know, a lot of our water is already getting sold off. So this underground water filtering system, it really connects to a lot of communities and a lot of people and it saved a lot of our mob. We're a dry country. Um, you know, the fires and stuff, bushfires when they came through, this underground water f system, it, it saves a lot of communities and a lot of people. I, I don't think that's replaceable. Once you damage it and you start putting stuff into it, you won't be able to get it back. Um, so that's why we're really, really angry 
and why we're quite hurt because it is a sacred site. It should be treated as a sacred site. It's probably one of the biggest sacred sites in Australia and a lot of people aren't aware of that. But it's here to take care of us for, for years, 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 years to come. And we just can't jeopardise it. If we do, we're killing ourselves. We're killing our animals, we're killing our land. Um, and the Piligo, it's, you know, it's one of the last forestries in the area. We don't have many of them left. So that's why we're angry. That's why we're fighting for water. Australia's the driest country in the world. We, we need the water. I would rather have water any day than money. And they, they want to throw money at us, but we're not taking it. And we don't want it. We want, we want our water and we want our land. And I'd rather see the animals, you know, Piliga has over 200 native species, different kinds of birds, different kinds of animals, the Piliga mouse. It's got really unique species that aren't found in any other area, like most of Australia. But the Piliga is, is it protects them and it saves them. And um, if Santos start drilling into one area, they'll start to drill into the rest of it and it'll just get bigger and bigger and then you know, the next town will be affected. Narrabri will be used and abused and then they'll move on, move on to the next town. So that's what we're trying to stop. Hello, Yama. I'm Mia Ride. I'm a proud Gomoroi Dungari woman. I'm here at the 10 Embassy, um, currently with my Gomoroi people. We've recently come down uh, two days ago. Well, yesterday we had an action day um, in regards to Santos gas drilling in uh, Narrabri, but also looking to, to destroy the Piliga, the Piliga forest, and also drill into the Great Artesian Basin. So we Yanars, which means women in my language, we formed a action group a few months ago uh, when, the, when the decision, the government made the decision that they were going to uh, start drilling into Piliga, we all kind of came together and we decided we wanted to do something and make our voices louder together. So the last few months have been very fast. We've had a lot of gatherings and, and meetings and discussions with a lot of different people, including our mob. We've gone home and, and sat down with our community and talked about the dangers that are coming onto country. Uh, three weeks ago, we ran an event in Narrabri called the Gomoroi Gomoroi Gathering. And it was run by the Narrabri Yanars. And we supported them, the Mihai. We went over and supported them to run the day and make their voices a little bit more louder. So we're looking to go into communities and work with the women and, and communities to make our voices louder. So with that, we decided we were going to, after the federal decision was made, we were going to take our fight straight to the front doorsteps. So that's why we're in Canberra. That's why we've come down to the 10 Embassy. We've been yarning with this mob, getting support from this mob and um, They've been helping us and supporting us make the fight louder from, from here. And they've been so, you know, generous. We've come down here and brought a mob and we've all been sitting around and having some really deep discussions about what's happening in country. It's not just in Gomeroy, it's all over. We have stuff happening all over the country. So I think it's time for our mob to come together from all over and start making our voices heard. So yesterday, we had around 60, 60 people, which was really, really good for us. We had all different people come. So we had support from a lot of campaigns, a lot of environmentalists and scientists and stuff. We had young kids, youth, which I loved. Um, a lot of uni students coming down and, and giving us support. So I think that's important. I think having a discussion with the young people and taking the time just to let them know and kind of guiding them to a sense and sitting down with them. So we had a lot of them here yesterday and it was really nice to see some of our youth get up. We had Wendell French get up, he said some powerful words. We had a young brother who did some poetry. Um, so it was a good mix of people we had yesterday that all got up and, and had the conversation. So with this, I'm feeling pretty, um, I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling really proud. I feel like we got our voices heard and 
the media have been quite good, um, surprisingly. Um, positive, I, I guess this is a really big issue. It's not just for the Aboriginal community, the First Nations community, it's for everyone, everybody that lives on this country. So we all have to kind of be involved right now. Um, we can't, you know, we can't drink gas. Um, trees, you know, we need our trees. Obviously, you, no more money. How will they, how will they eat? <laughs> so we're starting the fight and we hope we'll, everyone will join us. But we're also down here at the 10 Embassy supporting one another and helping one another which, you know, with each other's fight. It's all about breaking those colonial, you know, systems and becoming more sovereign and working together. So, but we need allies. We need allies and we need people from all over to come and help us. And yeah, this is a call out for people to come and support us and be with us. Come when you're in Canberra, come to the 10 Embassy, talk to, talk to the people, talk to the mob here and really find out what's going on. Don't just post about it, you know, you've got to connect, you've got to go home to country and see what's actually happening. So we had to come to Canberra. It was so important for us. I just come home from country three weeks ago and you can already see it, you know, the damage to land. So yeah, you know, support us and walk with us. We, we ask you to walk with us. And if you want to know more information, you can find us um, on Facebook. We've uh, got the Mehi page, M-E-H-I, and you can grab one of these deadly t-shirts, <laughs> Protect Gomeroy. Um, yeah, which is our campaign, which is our, our promotional campaign that we're running. But yeah, we're, we're looking to, to keep the fight strong and keep the, the fight hard. We'll be coming back to country soon and we'll be doing more stuff on country and bringing people out to see what's happening in the Pilliga, showing them what's really happening on our country. So this won't be the last you see of us. And um, yeah, we'll probably be back in Canberra soon. Who knows? But it's been a beautiful experience and I think um, I think the world's starting to change a little bit as well. So hopefully everybody can support us and back us and, and it's all of our fight. So yeah, thank you.